this is from the Bleacher Report as well, ranking the NFL's best trade pieces um, of the 2025 offseason. So they list a couple of quarterbacks. Uh, number six, Geno Smith. Smith's contract expires after the 2025 season. Seems unlikely that the Seahawks will re-sign him. Even if Seattle stumbles down the stretch and misses the playoffs, desperate team may be willing to trade for Smith during the offseason. Would be a one-year commitment. Number seven on the list, Kirk Cousins. Atlanta made the big offseason splash in free agency. Cousins' four-year, $180 million contract has a $40 million cap number next season, uh, but he's still effective enough to have a legitimate trade market. So those are two quarterbacks via trade. I, the, the cap number, I, I know people want to connect the dots with Kirk Cousins and, and the Browns and Kevin Stefanski. $40 million cap means it's 86 at least between he and Deshaun Watson's contract. I don't did I I can't see that. Can you? Well, I think it's 113. The Kevin <laughs> Watson's cap is 73 next year. Um, no, I, I can't see that. If I, I know from a cash perspective, Kurt Cousin seems it's doable. Like from a cash perspective, the 40 million. I mean, that's not a ton for your starting quarterback. It is one you're paying another quarterback when you have another quarterback taking up 73 million dollars on your cap. Um, just from a player perspective, he's certainly interesting. It was like in the right system. We've seen him have just huge games. We've also seen him not win enough big games, right? Like he's kind of that Midland quarterback where just can't quite get you far enough, but he'd be an upgrade over what they have. Um, I, I do think Geno Smith is intriguing. Um, would be cheaper, certainly. I think you could run the play action stuff with him. Resurrected his career. Um, of all those kind of mid-level, lower-level guys that are going to be in this discussion for the Browns in the offseason just because we don't know what they're going to do at quarterback. Um, he's, he would be one that would have my interest if he were available. Yeah, it, the thing that comes to mind is I'd like to see him with Kevin Stefanski based on some of the guys Kevin Stefanski has had. I mean, Jacoby Brissett looked really good in Kevin Stefanski's offense. Now, Geno Smith doesn't have, like, the, the arm that jumps out like that, but I think Again, I think he does things well enough that Kevin Stefanski could tailor a game plan and an offense around him. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, you know, I mean, he's a former second-round pick, so people saw something there and went away, went to the bench, came back, and I, I think he's been a real success story since he's been in Seattle. I mean, I watched him beat the Browns up in Seattle last year. So, uh, you know, I, I've seen him make a lot of plays. I think there's a lot to like. I think he's a good you know, like a good guy to have on your team. I think he's a good leader. I, teammates are drawn to him. So, yeah, he, he's a guy that would have my interest.